Hey. Hey. On sweltering Saigon days, I would often escape to Dalat, known as the city of eternal spring for its distinctive temperate climate of the central Vietnamese highlands. The French colonialists developed Dalat in the early 1900s as a European retreat in southern Vietnam. Spring mornings in Dalat are crispy. It reminds you that you've woken up in the mountains of Vietnam and that until the sun has reached over its peaks, the loosened calm chill has still taken a hold of the highlands. That's what making eating at Bang Can Le so tantalizing is this hidden joint in a local outpost from a living room of a family home. Every time we come here, we have arrived before they're open, grabbing a seat at 7 a.m. 15 minutes later and this hole in the wall consistently always have a line for at least 45 minutes wait outside. Yep. But their signature dish and the only dish, a plate of mini savory Vietnamese pancakes cooked individually in coconut shells topped with spring onions, quail eggs, minced beef to be dunked in a side bowl of marinated meatballs and fish sauce. The sizzling hotcakes crunches cut through the chilly morning becoming the best wake up call and new tradition for us in Da Lat. <laughs> Sauce is so savory. It's made from a special small fish. This is the one with quail eggs. This is with beef. And they're stuffed with green onions. And they're just light and crispy. So beautiful to see the old train still on display. It literally looks like the one that you were taking to go to Hogwarts. Back in its heyday, Dalat Railway Station boasted three arrivals and departures daily. The French built the railway station itself, while the zigzagging tracks were planned and implemented by the Swedish experts in tricky terrain a la all the mountains that surround this city. I think it's fake. Oh. <laughs> it's real! It's real. <laughs> this is one of the most, if anything, the most beautiful train station in all Vietnam is the Dalat Railway Station. And you can see the very beautiful, unique architectural style built by the French in 1932 and the three pyramid shapes are meant to represent the Lien Bang mountain peaks which are the mountains in the lap. Dalat is so underrated in Vietnam. Not many international travelers come here aside from the local Vietnamese. On the one hand, I love it because it feels like we're just part of the locals in the city. And on the other hand, man, people are really missing out. From the food, to the mountains, to the lake, to the architecture.
We are now at Bicycle Up Cafe. Just look how wonderfully designed this cafe is from all these paperback books to this bathtub full of plants growing out of it. The menu is on this wooden block. <laughs> I was gonna say brick, but it's not brick. Really nice written out. Dalat is already a city of romance, but something tugs at my soul even further by canoodling in one of the many cozy nooks of the Bicycle Up Cafe. From its yesteryear trinkets and vintage bikes and old school pianos, it just feels like we're in a nostalgic time capsule of 1960s Vietnam. This one is mulberry banana with yogurt and this one sweet mango, coconut and yogurt. With no plans or itinerary, as life should be in Dala, a place where you go to escape, unwind and rest. We ended up hopping from one cafe to another, exploring the mountain city through its drinks and bites. Eating our way through Dala, the best. This is the Lin Pagoda, and as many churches as you can see in Dalat, there are also many pagodas and temples around too. What I love about this space is it's so peaceful, and there's a lot of art students just sitting and sketching the pagoda. It's a really nice scene to see. This inner complex of the pagoda it's stunning! Wow. You see why there's so many art students here? And look at this! So fresh, and the ice cream blending in with it, ooh, so nice. This church is located on top of a hill in Dalat and was built in a style reminiscent of the 17th century French architecture. And the walls are actually made of pink limestone with stained glass windows featuring and a large statue of the Virgin Mary inside standing upon a globe of the world. The statue actually resembles a Vietnamese woman even though it was designed by a French architect. Domaine de Marie has such a beautiful color for a church. Look at this luscious pink. We just stepped into this beautiful church complex, and this church has two nunneries, and this is part of it. Wow, the architecture here is just so stunning. You can see the arches throughout all of the windows. And the color pink prevails. Beautiful courtyard as well. Dalat is this wonderful, stunning mountain city in the middle of Vietnam. And as you can see, I'm wearing sweaters and 
In this video, you'll see lots of people wearing winter clothing, jackets, coats. It's like being transported into another world where you actually have something that is not 40 degrees. And in the morning, it's actually about 17 degrees. And in the night, it goes even lower to around 12, 15 degrees. And in the day, is this comfortable, relaxing, 20 degrees where it's not too hot, not too cold, and it's just so enjoyable. It really reminds me of summers in Austria and in the Alps. And just here, it really brings back, and it's so wonderful to experience this part of Vietnam. With the construction of the Dalat Railway Station, it connected to Nat Jang and Saigon daily. And what you had back then was the Vietnamese officials and French colonialists looking to get away from the heat of the south, coming up to the central highlands for a breezy temperate getaway. Then French villas started to mushroom up everywhere around the city, built in the style of the French cottages that can be found in France's countryside. This is the French quarters of Da Lat, which is a whole neighborhood of these beautiful late 19th century French architecture everywhere. There, there, feels like I'm taking a trip back in time. And of course, now that the French are gone, everything is still well preserved and it remains for the Vietnamese locals. Look at this vintage garage collection. Wow. 1966 as a replacement for the very successful brand 4CT before it. And now the theme was introduced into Vietnam, Vietnam associated with the Taxi Saigon brand. Surrounded by pine forest and here is the King Palace. So this is one of the many villas of the King Palace. And actually it was built by a French billionaire in the 1940s. It's kind of crazy to think that the French colonial time wasn't that long ago. Oh, there he is. It's easy to get. Best place to daydream. What are you daydreaming about then? Love, romance, in the time of the French. Ah. Uh, do you have a surprise for me? Is that what you're thinking about? Oh yes, surprise for me folks. Oh, exciting, exciting. Built by a French merchant in 1929, the surprisingly modest but attractive royal residence of Bao Dai, Vietnam's last emperor, is an enchanting land. Steep with history, it was home to Bao Dai and his family until they went into exile in France in 1954. Wow, this huge stone walkway to the Bao Dai Emperor's Palace is just magnificent. It just seems so zen and so wonderfully designed with the stone and then all the trees up top. Feels like something out of like a fairy tale. Love exploring this huge palace and seeing the interiors of it. It's really nice little details everywhere. He's wearing a French uniform look <laughs> with high socks. Chinese vase shelf is a secret tunnel. It's 
So this is Emperor Bao Dai's room, his bedroom. And then all you have to do is flip this tunnel, flip this shelf around, and there's a secret tunnel that goes all the way around the palace. Emperor's underground tunnel came three meters under the ground, leading all the way out into a helipad. Ooh. Can I get out of here? Yeah, let's do it. Our Mission Impossible escape. Too far. You're too far away. Walk through March me. Yes, that's better. Hey, where are you going? This is a palace fit for an emperor. Hey! <laughs> so not royal material. <laughs> Just Logan material. Watch out, there's a deer behind you. Oh no! What are you trying to do? Dalat is our favorite place in Vietnam outside of Saigon, so there will be more adventures in this mountain retreat in the next video. For now, give this video a thumbs up, comment down below what you think of the city so far, and subscribe if you haven't already.